Hi everyone, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem equal stacks. You have three stacks of cylinder where each cylinder has the same diameter, but they may vary in height. You can change the height of the stack by removing and discarding its topmost cylinder any number of times. Find the maximum possible height of the stacks such that all of the stacks are exactly the same height. This means you must remove zero or more cylinders from the top of zero of more of these three stacks until they are all the same height. Then print the height. The removals must be performed in such a way as to maximize the height. Note an empty stack is still a stack. So in this problem, we have three stacks. With these three stacks, we have to find the maximum possible height so that the three stacks will have the same height. So we will remove some cylinders from each of the stacks until it reaches the same height. That is the overall logic of the problem. We can easily solve this problem by checking the minimum of the stack each time and removing the corresponding elements. Okay, let's see the constraints. Here, total number of elements in the stack can go up to 10 to the power of 5 and height of any cylinder can go up to 100. So these are some small number of values only. We don't need to worry about the constraints here. Let's see some examples. Here we have three stacks. First stack contains five elements. Second stack contains three elements. Third stack contains four elements. These are the cylinders that are available in the stack. As you can see, these are the pictorial representation of the stacks. Here top of the stack comes in front of the list. So we need to reverse the list in order to perform the stack operation. From these three stacks, we need to check which stack has minimum sum of all the cylinders. Here the sum is 8, here the sum is 9, and here the sum is 7. So the minimum sum is 7. Corresponding to that, we need to remove each cylinder. So we need to remove both of these cylinder. After that, the minimum will be 5. So here the minimum is 5. We will remove two one cylinders from third stack and all the stacks will have the same height. Finally, we print the results that is the maximum possible height is 5. Okay, let's solve the problem now. First, I already told that we have to reverse the stack. So h1 equals h1 colon colon minus 1. So this will reverse the entire list like that. We need to do this for the remaining two stacks. H2 equals H2 minus 1 and H3 equals H3 minus 1. So we have reversed the stack. Reverse elements in the stack. After that, we need to find the sum of the stack find sum of each stack. So sum1 equals sum of h1. Like this, we need to do this for the rest of the stacks. Sum2 equals sum of h2 and sum3 equals sum of h3. This will give us the total height of the stacks. After that, we will go to the main logic. Main logic while true so the loop continues until we find the answer first we will find the minimum height min height equals minimum of sum 1 sum 2 and sum 3 after finding the minimum height we need to specify the base case base case if min height equals 0 if it's 0, we will return 0. That means we have one empty stack. So the maximum possible height we can get is 0. Now we need to go for the general case. General case. If min height is less than sum 1, that means we have a greater sum. So we will remove one element. Sum 1 minus equals h1 dot pop so it will remove the last element of the stack and it will negate the total sum 
like this we need to do this for the rest of the stacks so if min height less than sum to then sum to minus equals h2 dot pop again min height less than sum 3 sum 3 minus equals h3 dot pop after checking the general case for all the three stacks we need to check whether the height of all the stacks are same so that's our final operation if sum 1 equals sum 2 equals sum 3 written sum 1 so if all the stacks sum are all same means it has equal height so we will return the height of the stack this will be the maximum possible height that the stack can have so it will remove the cylinders until it reaches the minimum height if we have no possible height means we will return zero in the end okay that's the whole logic of the problem first we are reversing the stack because the elements are in reverse order after that we are finding the height of the stack using the sum operation then in an infinite while loop we are finding the minimum height of the stack after that we are checking for the base case if minimum height is zero we will return zero after that for the general case if minimum height is less than the height of the stack we will pop one element and negate the sum also like that we need to do this for all the stacks finally we will check all the sums if all are equal we will return the total height here this sum represents the height of the stack okay let's run the code it passed the sample test case let's submit it that's it guys we solved the problem if you have any other logic other than this please leave a comment below so it will be useful for everyone and if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video